we've got the chosen customized set. So today for our Beyblade show, we're going to be covering the B120H Chozitsu Customized Set. I'll be trying in this video to cover as much as I can, since I have to cover all the evolutions for Spriggan, compare the layers and whatever. We're probably going to have like, when we do our battles later on, I'll try to go a little bit more in depth on anything I didn't cover. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go over everything now. So here we have the B120H Chozitsu Customized Set. This is a very awesome set. Comes with Chozetsu Spriggan, Orb Edges, a Bloody Long Reduce Suppressed Ragnarok. You get a Balance type, a Defense type, a Stamina type, and an Attack type. So, really liking this set. I'm not too sure on the stock actually for Bloody though. Like one, uh, what is that? It's one Prime Dagger Cycle. So, Edges we're finally getting after was in the Gashapon Lair Collection. It has its own Bay Fort now. Outer Quest, and I believe the Chozetsu Spriggan, those little black parts come out depending on the spin direction, I'm guessing. And just like Chozetsu Valkyrie, it's limited metal points. Sort of like Ice Fafnir also, actually. But uh, Geist doesn't have the Burst Stopper, so that's why you know, it's Chozetsu in it. So we've got uh, 0, Outer, 5, one prime and then after for the frames we have wall which is looks looks pretty heavy actually cross and uh, dagger we don't have a scale with this uh, right now uh, zeta prime quest which is a suction cup which is very silly i don't know how effective that is volcanic prime and cycle which cycle i'm like what okay whatever <laughs> So, looking at the back, we've got Chizetsu Spriggan, which is zero wall Zeta Prime. This is owned by Shu. We have got uh, Orb Edges, Outer uh, Quest. Quest is like a suction cup. It has a warning there. I'm not too sure what it says. Owned by Evil Oxford, part of Dead Grand. <sighs> wow, amazing. So we got Crash Ragnarok, which is five cross Volcanic Prime. Blade Long News, one Prime Cycle. Honestly, this is really crazy. So Spriggan has a burst stopper on it, which is like last second before it bursts. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to, that thing's supposed to help it stop uh, the burst. The other gimmicks there for the stuff, so it's contact points, quests, the wall, and the prime drivers. And actually go over this pretty quickly. Uh, Chizetsu Valkyrie, Outer Atomic. Chizetsu Valkyrie, H Prime, Turn Zeta Prime. Chizetsu Spriggan, Z Volcanic Prime. I never talked about that previously, and I want to mention that. And teacher for the previous... Uh, news that we covered on the next uh, stuff. That's the Lair of Chizetsu Spriggan. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. Has like the metal thing in the, uh, the metal chip in the middle, I guess, that carries over Requiem. There's little black parts there. Uh, the red axe! Hashtag red axe in the comments! Zero uh, wall. I think that's the heaviest frame. Look at all the points it has on there. It should be actually the heaviest frame. Unless I'm wrong. We don't have a scale with this right now, so that's why I'm saying I'm not too sure. We have... Right. Yeah, now we have a Zeta Prime, which is non-translucent. And if you don't know what Zeta is, it's like the ultimate uh, balance type driver. You can switch between uh, attack, which is the one right there. Stamina, which I'm gonna just show it. Yeah, that's stamina. Then after there's, I'm trying to, you know, I'll get on a second. So then after that's uh, defense. So it can switch between this, so you have the offer for about three on three, meaning three different uh, ways you can do it in the right, three different ways you can do it in left. Which will make it interesting. I, I don't know if in the anime they're going to play off the, the same way they did it with uh, Requiem. I like how Requiem could actually switch in battle the Zeta's uh, mode, which I thought was really cool. I cannot wait to see Shu come back in action. So the next one... Orb Edges. The lair looks nice. 
Nice, nice. Blue in the middle this time, I'm pretty sure. You know, not level chip with the show after, but uh, outer, which I'm so happy they're finally releasing again. That's like an easier way to obtain it. Qu uh, quest, which is like a suction cup. It's off balance at first, and then after, like, it'll stick onto the stadium so that uh, there's no over finish with this bay. Which is a very interesting gimmick, but uh, I'll, I'll do more test battles uh, when we have the time to test it out. Because I don't know how really effective that is, and I don't know if it's just a dumb gimmick. Yeah, section cup. Crash Ragnarok, I love how that- that's a nice lair for it. I don't have my actual crash with me, so I don't know how tight it is, I'll see later. Five cross, which cross looks- very nice, and so does the disc, Volcanic Prime. And the colors of the normal Volcanic. Yeah, that's that, that's a nice choice of colors. Bloody Longanus, which looks so awesome, the black and the purple. It's probably actually my favorite version of that lair, which I might actually put on my original one. Oh man. One uh, prime in a purple dagger, which is nice. Cycle, I don't really care for cycle. Orb edges, outer quest, comparing it to the previous one. I just had 10 in orbit on that one. Oh man, that looks nice. Yeah, okay, so the only difference is blue is on the inside. So now this Spriggan evolution, so we got the original Spriggan. From when we go from Storm Spriggan to Legend to Requiem, we see that the axe is sort of pushed out, and we see that the tip becomes more and more, like, sort of, I guess, balanced with it. And then after you got the ultimate tightness. Just showing off the bottoms and the teeth for everything. Yeah. This is honestly probably one of my- this is probably one, like my second favorite evolution, maybe first. So there's all the lit. Oh man, it looks so good! Golden Axe! Oh, hashtag Spriggan in the comment section below. Yeah, I give that other one, uh... Purple, I got gotcha. it. Purple, uh, blue, sorry. So this part right here, I'm guessing it's when you get the rotation out when you lock it in, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's very weird. You have the red axe that's there. It, that's nice. That's really nice. Alright, just to show... Yeah, so we got Zeta, comparing it to Zeta Prime. Only difference is one's translucent, one isn't, which, you know, that's fine. Maybe they didn't want to make the other one translucent, not to... Actually, I don't know, actually. I don't know. That's very weird, actually, to why they didn't want to, uh... Make the other one translucent. Doesn't affect the battle or anything, it's just weird. They're just showing it off in the different modes. After that, we'll do some test launch, and, you know, after that, we'll do some battles. Now we got it on there. Just try to push it in. Good. So, next, All right, he's going to be showing this off, so there's this new tool to switch it from left and right that's pretty easy. It's a very effective tool that came first in the Musou set. Lock it in. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're going to see how tough this bay actually uh, is now in battles. Alright. Let's show it in the other one. There we go. Alright, now both spin directions. Alright, next. Orb edges. We're gonna show us assembling it. Putting quest on it. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty tight. Let me, uh, let me actually just double check with this. So, we have a bloody test launch. Stamina. Yeah, a little dent on the stadium. I think that was from Valkyrie video. It's actually funny. It just is so random. Look at that. <laughs> it's so off balance. That was random. Off balance. Off balance. There's Crash Ragnarok. Oh, look at Crash go. Hey, 
I got defeated easily, obviously. Over finish! Oh my gosh, this bay is cool. Bloody. Now, come on, three, two, one. Go shoot! Send some good contact. Am I gonna lose? Oh! Nice. Alright, let's try it. What's Edges doing? What? Edges, what are you doing? That is such a dumb gimmick, but I love it. I mean, I guess it's useful for something, but if I just get that contact, I don't know how useful that really is gonna be. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you sit down. You sit down. All right. That is such a weird gimmick. Oh! Spriggan. So, these were all the battles between the bays in the set anyways. We didn't go against every single one against each other. We'll maybe do that later. Next, Spriggan Evolution. So, the original one, which it's not going to lose to. Look at how much of a difference it is. How bulky this Spriggan got. Yeah, first round to me. With Chozetsu. Storm. Alright, come on, Storm. Come on! Spriggan, Chozetsu whip! Ah, there we go! Burst! Alright, Legends. Oh, Burst! Oh, that was an ugly Burst. Legends. A little bit on the top, but... Yeah, killing it! Awesome! Alright, Requiem. Imagine if it bursts Requiem. Now, make sure to hit that like button, show your support, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you already are subscribed, make sure you click that bell to be notified for uploads, and if this video gets to a thousand likes, I will make sure personally, I, I just grabbing this one because I have it with me right now, that we do Chozetsu Spriggan versus Winning Valkyrie, and make sure to comment in the comment section below which bay did you like the most in the set, and which battle did you like the most in this video. And also your thoughts on the base competitive live. I think some of them were okay, but some of them are a little bit eh. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, have an awesome, burstful day.